Yeah, Mike Mayock spoke about his quarterback, Derek Carr, a couple days ago. This seemed like a guy they're ready to get rid of. I think Derek Carr had his best year yet under John Gruden. I think he's one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL, and we couldn't be happier with him. And I tell you every year, I mean, we evaluate every position every year. I have no idea who, can, who, who might call me or who might not call me. So you have to do the evaluations both on your own players and every other player in the league. And you've got to stack your boards and understand what league value is all around the league. And we do that. But if you're asking me about Derek, I mean, I think John and I would both stand shoulder to shoulder and pound the table for Derek Carr. Well, there you go. I mean, that, that does not sound like a guy who's trading his quarterback or cutting his quarterback, right? Which he, he could do before a contract extension is reached. So let, let's start with and end with the Bears. Right? Um, it, this from uh, Brad Biggs of the Chicago Tribune. The thinking among multiple sources is the Bears have prioritized making a run at Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson. Jeremy Fowler expects the Bears to take their shot. Russell Wilson likes their offensive line. He's intrigued, intrigued by offensive head coach Matt Nagy and believes Chicago is an intriguing market. I mean, look, my take is very simple. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, one, I don't think Seattle is going to or wants to trade him. Two, you're down to the Bears? And I understand the Bears have have searched long and hard for a uh, <clears throat> for a franchise quarterback. They searched long and hard. And by searching for a franchise quarterback, if you can have one who's already developed, already under contract, land at your doorstep, even better, even better. But be careful what you wish for, right? There's no relationship there with Nagy. The system that he runs is a hybrid of the same system in Kansas City. And while you can sit there and go, like, look what Pat Mahomes can do. Look at the skill position, guys, Pat Mahomes has. I'm not saying it's not a win for the Bears, but what is Russell Wilson thinking? What are you thinking? In fairness, the, the, the Bears have the exact same record over the last three years as the Indianapolis Colts. And everybody thinks that everything that's been done in, in Indy is brilliant and everything that's been done in Chicago is stupid, but they're essentially the exact same football franchise, just with different markets and different expectations. One team got shunned by its franchise quarterback because he's just been injured too much. The other team moved mountains to draft a quarterback at number two and what well, just wasn't good enough. But this is a be careful what you wish for because you might get it. For the record, I don't think Russell Wilson's getting traded to Seattle. I'm getting traded from Seattle. I don't even think they're contemplating it. Like if somebody wants to show up and move mountains and you're talking about three first round picks and a couple of players, well, then we'll have to have a long, hard conversation and maybe just maybe. But if it's we're going to ditch him because he's done, like, no, nah, dude, he's under contract. He ain't going anywhere. It just this the noise might grow louder, but the story hasn't really changed. Like people, oh, this is an era of player empowerment. No, it's not. It's the exact same era we've always had. You know, Eli Manning draft day forced a trade, you know, said I'm not going to San Diego. And John Elway didn't want to play for the Baltimore Colts. Like we've seen this before. Let's just stop with the it's the new era. The only new era out there is social media, which amplifies small sounds it's the same thing we have in terms of the rest of society there are problems those problems are amplified and made more ever present based upon social media we're out of things to talk about i'd love to talk about college basketball today i just had um, i spent three games in logan utah back and forth and i loved it and i got great stories for all the but america's like man just give me the bracket let me see if i can win my pool Can't talk about regular season NBA because it feels like they've been playing perpetually since, well, since they started those games in quarantine in Orlando. There's no college football, I mean, FCS, nobody talks about in the regular season, let alone in the spring. Baseball, right? So we got to talk about football. And in this week of, we're out of stuff to talk about, it's maybe Zach Wilson should go number one. And here's the new one. Russell Wilson to the Bears makes a lot of sense. 
For who? The only people it makes sense for is the Bears. That's literally the only people on earth that's like, oh, that makes total sense to us. We like that. Russell Wilson coming to the Bears, it makes a lot of sense. Let me explain it to you. We need a quarterback, and he's a really good quarterback. There, there you go. Makes sense. Like, okay, but that's not what we were getting at or getting to. That's not even close. Not close. So I, I understand that you, every day, you, you turn, you read, like, ooh, Russell Wilson. Ooh, now it's the Bears are make, taking a shot. The Bears might take a shot. Russell Wilson, you know, might want to go there. But one, thinking you want to go there and really going there are two different things, right? Two, why would Seattle do that? You know, Russell's not going to not play. Russell Wilson wants so badly to be well-liked that he won't even demand a trade. All he wants, he just wants people to go, you're, you're great. You're Walter Payton man. You can't win Walter Payton man of the year and then demand a trade mid-contract with a team that drafted you and supported you when you, you were, weren't thrown for 200 yards, built an entire team around you, gave the biggest contract in the history of sport. You're like, you can't do that. Like, he's not a complete dope, complete dolt. He's got a massive ego, but not one that blocks his, 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 his thinking in his cerebellum. No. So th- this is just a case of Russell Wilson not really ready to go to the mattresses, not really going to sit out, is on a playoff team, trying to throw his weight around. Hey, man, you know, I could go to the Bears. Careful. Seattle might get to the point where like, all right, fine, go to the Bears, have fun. You know, go to the Bears, have fun. The, the interesting part about it is in his desperate need for some sort of control, in his desperate need to change their offensive line, which they're going to change anyway, Russell Wilson's kind of lost himself in what made them successful to begin with, right? Like They won a Super Bowl against the Broncos because their defense. The game was over from almost the first snap because of the defense. The second Super Bowl, he had a big part in, no question. Shouldn't have gotten there. They should have lost to the Packers because their offense and Russell Wilson was crummy against an injured Aaron Rodgers. And th- they got lucky and they found a way to get in there and then lost to the Patriots. But those two teams were because of dominant defenses. And yeah, good offensive line. But he also had no say into the offense. None. So now later in his career, he wants more say into the offense and wants them to rebuild their offensive line, which they were going to do anyway. And if not, I'm going to go to Chicago because I think I like the idea of Matt Nagy. No, what really is, is it's a huge city that would wrap their arms around any sort of quarterback. That would be you. You look in that division and the Vikings, eh, Lions, rebuild, Packers, legit, but two playoff teams can come out, maybe even three of the same division. You'll be fine. Just like the Seahawks would be fine in the NFC West. But why would the Seahawks trade him? Until you can find an answer to that question, I, it's not even a question worth asking. You know? I mean, look, I don't think the Texans truthfully want to trade Deshaun Watson, and to this point they haven't, but if they do, it's because they're in complete rebuild mode. They are absolutely gutting the house, and they're absolutely starting over. I don't think Deshaun Watson's going to sit out. I don't care what anybody says. Like, he ain't sitting there. Dudes, like, it, it's one thing to get hit with a bill for $50,000 when you got $70 million. When you get hit with a bill for $21 million in potential fines, yeah, that one kind of stings. That one kind of hurts. I don't think Deshaun Watson's sitting out. I just don't. A game, maybe. A preseason game, maybe. Don't know. But wasting your own career away, like, Look, if the, if the Texans get to the NFL draft and they haven't traded Deshaun Watson, they ain't traded him. And he can sit there and collect dust for all they care because they got him under contract. But the only reason it makes sense is they're rebuilding. They could get a cornucopia of picks. They get a couple players. And they, they can start the rebuild mode. But even then, I, I doubt it happens. It's not Carson Wentz who they wanted out of town. They weren't a playoff team. It's not Jared Goff who had led them to a Super Bowl but had a huge 
huge number in terms of his salary, and they were fed up with his play. They're not fed up with Russell Wilson. He's got to play better. They got to rebuild and build a better team. They were a playoff team. And I don't see them bailing on their quarterback anytime soon, even if he wants to bail on them.